Shazam! So on September 9th, Eric Freeman was arrested at a live for your dance party in Central Square for refusing to let police take his property, a charge they like to call obstruction. Several events transpired during that incident, which included the arrests of Ryan Maddox, Roz, and Nick. This video's focus will be on Derek and his arresting slash pepper spraying officer, Kopcha. After being handcuffed, Derek cooperates in walking to the police car. Rather than assisting Derek in the car, Kopcha's like, hey man, are you gonna get in the car? Derek verbally refuses. He proceeds to pepper spray Derek, then assists him in the car, as if, like, why couldn't he have done that first, right? Okay, a few days after the incident, Jason Talley asks Kopcha some questions, at which point my bullshit meter goes off as Kopcha expresses how pepper spray just kind of, poof, goes away after, like, 15 minutes. It's like, poof, it's gone. Bullshit. And recently, on December 21st, Derek goes for the Hail Mary and asks Kopcha for an apology. And he's like, oh, hi, oh, no. No, you just... Duh -uh. Michael, we, we can make it right. I want to be okay with you. Derek, I'm not going to apologize to you. He has he feels that what he did Do you really okay. think it was the right thing to do to put pepper spray in my eyes? You can't. How do you feel that way, Michael? What, what is he being charged with? Um, Obstruction. Um, obstruction. Oh, obstruction. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. You guys just make up <laughs> as you go, don't you? Obstruction. They I don't, don't, don't want to get they in the got car. You on camera. I don't Electrical. Think you spray you no, we have you no, on camera. We have you on camera doing what you're doing. I don't want to get in the car. For, for using an electrical no, device. I really, I feel like oh, great. Oh, thank you for serving and protecting get us. We really appreciate it. Get hey! Oh, my God. Unbelievable. 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 Pepper spray. He did nothing. Sorry. Unbelievable. Really? Look at this. Oh my god, you guys just pepper sprayed a guy who was handcuffed. You guys just pepper sprayed a guy who was handcuffed. Do you have any uh, thoughts, uh, like any second thoughts, about how you handled uh, Derek uh, the other day? No regrets, none whatsoever. The reason I pepper sprayed him is because he wouldn't get in the car and pepper spray hurts, but it goes away after about 15 minutes as opposed to shoving somebody in. Now you say you wouldn't get in the, in the car. Did he resist getting yes. in the car? He did resist. He told it. me he was not going to get in. Oh, so he, well, that's not resisting, though, is it? He's just not uh, yes, assisting his own kidnapping, right? I guess that's right. Right, so he's not assisting his own kidnapping, but not resisting. In my mind, he's resisting. As far as the way the law is written, he's resisting. in that gazebo over there. And this woman thinks that that's appropriate wow. behavior. She'd like to shake his hand for pepper spraying a peaceful person in the eyes. Go ahead, support the police state. Did you tell your family about what you're doing? Derek, I'm done talking to you about it. I, I mean, we're both just apologizing for it. Did you tell your family about what you did? No, you did not tell them. So you're not proud of it? You can, you can stop trying to put words in my mouth. Don't talk to you about it. Well, see, the video speaks for itself. Watch the video on your little hey, website. What's there? there? One, one thing, right? one, I know you're busy with the train, but we That's certainly right. were trying to document it, but uh, colleagues, people that wore the same uniform and badges as you, yeah. they shine flashlights in our cameras at the same time. Is there something to hide? I have no idea. No, I didn't know something to hide. I can tell you it was dark out. They were probably using flashlights. Right directly at the cameras at the same time? I have no idea. You have no idea? You said you it saw wasn't me. I'm not going to speak for anybody else. Right. Yeah, I know. You were busy pepper spraying me. You saw the video, That's right. right? I was busy pepper, you pepper spraying there who was resisting arrest. He was he was I, I actually was handcuffed at that point, so how could I be resisting That's arrest? I'm not going to talk to you about it. Obviously, I'll probably see you in court over it. We'll talk about it then. So I don't know if you're familiar with what happened, but I was having a dance party over here, and it was the 9th of September. You can check it out. It was called Live For Your Dance. And we had some speakers set up, and people were having a good time. We got like two songs into it, maybe even just one, before uh, Mr. Kopcha and another officer came came over. 
and uh, they said to turn the lights and music off, and we did turn the lights and music off. They were off at that point, so there was nothing else for them to do. And then they said, whose property is this? This, uh, this speaker system. So since they were asking, they obviously knew it didn't belong to them. And yet they thought it was the right thing to do to take the property. Uh, and it didn't belong to them. So then I, I ended up being arrested for holding on to this property. And while I had my hands behind my back and I was walked over to the police car, Michael thought it was the right thing to do to put pepper spray in my eyes so that I would step into the police car. But I told him, do you remember what I told you, Michael, why I didn't get into the police car? It was, it was because I said I felt like I was being kidnapped. And I did feel like I was being kidnapped. So if you want to talk about it in court, that's fine. But after court is over, if it is decided that it was the wrong thing to do, would you so how is well things to apologize then, Michael? Never. Even if it was decided that it was the wrong thing to do, you said you're not going to apologize. We'll, we'll cross that bridge if it comes to that. Right. Like it's so do you encourage more police masings? Do you want more police to be pepper spraying people? Is that how justice happens? This, this is the new America, Michael, and you're, you're part of it. This is the, the police state America, and you pepper sprayed me in the eyes. You don't want to apologize. You think it was perfectly acceptable behavior. You don't want to be held accountable for it. You don't want to have a conversation. I mean, we live in the same town. Let's talk about this stuff. We're neighbors.